I'm Doug Doyle with The Art of the Story. Music documentarian Robert Muggy is out with his new memoir, Notes from the Road, a filmmaker's journey through American music. The book focuses on the making of what he considers to be his 25 key music-related docs. Among them are Deep Blues, Saxophone Colossus with Sonny Rollins, Black Wax with Gil Scott Heron, Gospel According to Al Green, and maybe his most famous doc, Sun Ra, A Joyful Noise. You people of planet Earth, people of planet Earth. you're on the spaceship Earth, you're on the spaceship Earth. Destination unknown. Destination unknown. I spoke recently with Robert Mungie as he talked about his experience with Sun Ra. In 1972, Ann Arbor Blues and Jazz Festival, you say it changed your life. Tell us why. Well, I was I was still an undergraduate at the time. It was getting to be late in my undergraduate career at University of Maryland, Baltimore County. And uh, I went out and joined friends from Indiana, from Bloomington, in going up to the Ann Arbor Blues and Jazz Festival. And there I witnessed Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, Miles Davis, Bonnie Raitt with Sippy Wallace, uh, Junior Walker in the All-Stars, uh, more people than I can think of right now. But the one, as great as everyone was, the one who blew me away was Sun Ra. And it was a combination of a whole lot of things, but just off the top of my, my head, you know, the, the, the soulful vocals, the squealing saxophones, the uh, Afro-Caribbean rhythms, the, the, you know, Wagner used to talk about the Gesamtkavert, the total, total artwork that would take in all these different arts. And Sun Ra did that. You know, there was the theatrical colorful theatrical backdrops and the colorful costumes and the dancers and the singers and combination of electronic instruments and acoustic instruments and and then all this mythology uh, that ran all through it, it it just was overwhelming but i just decided i didn't know when i didn't know where it ended up taking years but uh, a year later i um moved to philadelphia to attend uh grad school at Temple University for filmmaking and who should live in the Germantown section of, uh, of Philly, but uh, Sun Ra and uh, six or seven members of his orchestra. I got the money in uh, late 1980 to, uh, to finish it. You can see my entire interview with Robert Muggy on the WBGO Facebook page. I'm Doug Doyle, WBGO News.